from putting out fires to sparking them. This fire station was handed over to Qatar Museums in 2012. Since then, a nine-month residency program gives local artists a base to experiment and develop into professional artists, all done in the hopes of inspiring new ways of creating art. Rhoda al Khori says having 24-7 access to your own creative space is great for young Qatari artists like herself. Because the art scene is really spreading in Qatar, I think being in this res residency today is really helping me as an artist. In a way, it's like a community of artists in one place. It's a creative place. You get your ideas flowing. You share your ideas and concepts with other artists and get amazing feedback. The 24-year-old says that up until now, a career in art was not the first choice for Arab families. But this is slowly changing. It's going to be related to how Arab parents view artists, especially their kids that are artists. And um, I've chosen to do an installation. It's going to have uh, a lot of furniture from my home because personally my family value a lot, the furniture a lot. And I thought of the idea of um, putting my mark on something that they value because to me that's going to add more value to it, adding more value to the artwork is somehow maybe going to make them understand what an artist is. My drawings, for example, they're really bright, but the themes sometimes are a bit darker. For Nurbano Al-Hajazi, art is therapeutic. What I do is by representing my inner demons and bringing them out in my life, I confront them. She says her personal motto is control what you can, confront what you can't. And the way she confronts her anxiety is through art. Because um, I've had it for quite some time and it really ruined my life. And um, I started this journey of to kind of reclaim my life back from anxiety. And a lot of the things that cause my anxiety, I would avoid them and it would just escalate and make things worse. Yeah. It's a work in progress. Exactly. While her mom may not love Norbana's spooky style, she supports her career path. My mom criticizes a lot for being uh, dark. She's like, why, why, why can't, why can't you just like make flowers and draw cats and stuff? I don't, like, mom, you don't, it's fine. I, I, she supports me regardless. The support is coming from all directions, from inside the station to those looking in. The fire station used to support the community and keeping the community safe. Now enrich and flourish the community with art. In its first open call, the residency program received 90 applications. That number jumped to 250 by year three. Now it is the golden time for the artists. Uh, we are really, really supporting the artists and there is a very a gradual uh, move in uh, art and art scene uh, in Qatar. So from the spectacular new museum to the fire station hub, it is evident that developing and nurturing art is being taken seriously in Qatar. Adil Halim, TRT World, Doha.